All right, so we got it down. Let's see here. Okay. All right, well, that's kind of creepy. Its head's turning, and it's looking at me, and it, it looks like it's ready to kill me. That is absolutely terrifying. Like, its head follows you. Hello, YouTube. Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we are finally back with another Creations episode. It's been a while since we've done one of these episodes. We've been doing a whole lot of multiplayer here in Scrap Mechanic, which has been fun. But I felt like it's time to jump back in and check out some of the Discord creations that have been sent to me. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, I do have a Discord. It's linked down in the description. And if you want to join it, you can send your creations that way. And that's the easiest way to get these to me. So, anyways, without further ado, we're going to jump into this. Links are in the description for the creations themselves if you want to download them. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. All right, so let's go ahead and get one thing straight. I do not know too much about SCP. I know a couple things. I know a couple of the SCPs, but I personally have never played the games. So there might be some stuff in here that I look at and go, hmm, what is that? So anyways, uh, we are apparently in a, uh, like a little road area here. I don't know, this looks like it kind of ends through here. I'm assuming this is kind of like a, I wouldn't say a puzzle map, but morely like a bit of a, I guess you could say a puzzle, maybe like a maze. Uh, I don't know where the heck we are. I know this is the way in and out if you were to drive a vehicle through here. Which, by the way, I do have this welded to the ground. Now, let's go ahead and wander over here. Uh, I heard there might be an SCP-173 in here somewhere, and I'm, I'm kind of curious as to where that is. Alright, nuke room. Uh-oh, scrap mechanic. See, scrap mechanic, this is why we have issues. Looks like the piston is shot through the door. What is in here? I mean, it says nuke. Is there a nuke in the game? Hold on, let's try slapping the door. Come on, stupid piston. Hold on, let's cut the piston. Okay, hit the button. Yep, button. Okay, that's jammed. Hold on. I can't squeeze my fat butt through there. I guess we're going to have to cut this door off. Uh, I think it might have uh, glitched out when I welded this thing down. I don't know, weird things like that happen in Scrap Mechanic all the time. So, there's a button here. What does this do? What? Wait. Is that a countdown? What does that mean? Uh, there's not a whole bunch of bombs shoved in here. We're about to blow up the facility, are we? No. Alright. Well, we're just gonna back up and ignore that we did that. Hmm. So, where would they be keeping the SCPs? Why is this gated off? Is that on pistons? No, that's not. That's just actually gated off. I don't wonder if this is a work in progress facility. I'm not really sure. Alright, let's see. Looks like we had a set of stairs. Where does this go? Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? I think this is another uh, entrance here. Yeah, there it goes. It links from the outside. So, there's that. It's a pretty cool door, by the way. Alright, let's head back up here. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, the only time I've actually seen an SCP map, other than videos, uh, was in Gmod when we did an SCP episode. Uh, what does this do? A little timer. Uh-oh. Is that something we want to do? Do we want to close that in? Or was that supposed to be closed? I didn't see a switch on the other side. I don't know, it kind of feels like we're almost in the wrong side of the facility. Actually, it says do not enter. Of course we're going to enter that. Oh, what's, what's down here? Is this... Oh, what are they, uh, what are they blocking off here? Is there something back there? Can't really tell. Or was that the other side that we were just on? It might be the other side. Uh, a little creeped out. All right, let's hit that. Oh, we're going down an elevator. Okay. Where would the SCP be? I don't know what the other SCP is. I know the, uh, the 173 down here, but... Uh, I'm not quite sure which other ones might be down here. I'll hit the switch here. Wait, I see daylight. Okay. Open that up. Alrighty. Yeah, it looks like the facility's possibly being worked on out here. <laughs> you kind of see everything. Alright. Well, let's continue on here. Wait, the double doors. I remember this from something. I remember this from the facility, from that map in Gmod. Uh, I think we're getting close to something. Okay, let's go in this side. Guess we better close that to keep stuff from getting out. 
Uh, let's see. What's this button do? Uh, did we just page something? Uh, okay. Is this another... Oh! Another elevator. Okay. Where are we going here? Alright, let's open that. Let's see. Let's open this. Uh... Where are we at? Wait, what is this? Uh, okay. This is open. Oh! What are we, uh... Oh, it's a bathroom. Oh, okay. I'm waiting for something spooky to happen. I'm, I'm actually spooked out by the bathroom. There's actually numbers on the doors. Don't they have numbers uh, signifying which SCPs in the areas here? Okay. Uh, what is, what is this? Oh, uh, you know what? Some of these doors seem like they're set open and some are set off. I'm trying to figure that out. But when I welded this down, I saw a couple doors that I had to close, which I thought were supposed to be closed, but I don't wonder if I screwed that up. Okay. What is, what is that? Wait, does that just reset that timer? It's doing something to the timer there. What does that mean, though? Okay. I'm, uh, I'm completely confused right now. Uh, what's this? Let's see. Uh. Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, look, it's SCP-173. Actually, I think I'm supposed to stare at it and don't blink. Uh, oh. What have you done in here? Uh, that's pretty cool. I, I do believe this uh, creation's made completely out of vanilla parts, so... Uh, he doesn't have too much shape to him, but you can definitely tell it's that. It's definitely uh, SCP-173. Let's go ahead and close that. There should be like a... Actually, I think it should be right over here. I thought there was like some observation points uh, in some of these little cells. Alright, so we haven't gone down this corridor. Uh, okay, that was the bathrooms. This is the... What is this, a closet that I'm supposed to lock myself into? I'm so confused right now. Uh, I probably need to contact the creator. There's a little bit of information on the workshop. Okay, did we miss an SCP? Is the question. Supposedly there's one more. Uh, I'm actually gonna have to use the tool here to see if we can locate something else. Oh, let's go out this way. I'm gonna take a look at the facility from out here. You can see how it's kind of pieced together. Uh, there's the bottom. There's where uh, SCP. What was that? I just heard another noise. Oh, you know what? That's me running around. I get paranoid when I do stuff like this. So that's where SCP uh, 173 is. I, I wonder if this is uh, still getting worked on and they're gonna maybe put some more stuff in here uh, because it definitely seems like there's some areas that aren't quite complete. But yeah, you can see where hallways are leading out uh, where they're building. So I'm thinking pretty soon you're gonna see a full facility here. So I was just sent the uh, kind of work in progress. Uh, that is, uh, that's pretty cool though. That's a cool concept. I like seeing maps like that in Scrap Mechanic. So, uh, very cool stuff. Anyways, I think we're going to go ahead and move on to the next thing since I'm, uh, I will probably just get myself lost in there even more, but that's a pretty cool thing. All right. So moving on to our next thing, we have some more AI bots. These were absolutely amazing. Uh, these are made by Entropy. Uh, they have been something that we've played with before, and I figure we go ahead and check some more out because, yeah, we've got this one here. This is called the PTO Wendingo, or I believe I'm saying that right. You know, I really don't want to let this thing off its lip because it's immediately going to try to kill me. And this thing is absolutely huge looking. That is cool. Alright, so we got it down. Let's see here. Okay. Ah, uh, well, that's kind of creepy. Its head's turning and it's looking at me. And it, it looks like it's ready to kill me. That is absolutely terrifying. Like its head follows you. Oh, it even goes up and down. What the heck? Okay, let's uh, let's read up on this bad boy real quick. All right, so this thing has uh, several attack modes. If you get too close, he will saw you. He uses a Gatlin gun. And if you get far away, his attacks will change. And if you damage his chest, it'll become enraged. And it has additional guns. Okay, so where's the on button for this bad boy? Because I know we're going to need to take off running as soon as we activate it. 
I think it's right there. That is a really weird spot for an on switch. I actually know I need to take off running after this. All right, three, two, one, go. Uh, it lit up. Wait, what's it doing? Does it know that I'm here? Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. No, 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 I should have equipped my gun. Okay, hold on, let's go hide behind a tree. They really need a health bar and scrap mechanic. Okay, here we go. Let's hide behind here. Is it coming? Oh, what the heck? What, wait, what's it hitting me with? Whatever it's hitting me with, it actually completely moves me. Hold on. All right, we need to go hide behind a tree or something. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get our gun. Uh, I'm assuming it still knows I'm here. We need to blow it up. Is it moving? No, 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 hold on. Let's get behind here. Okay. Just dug down. I can still hear it firing. How does it know? I guess, is it direct line of sight? How does it know that I'm behind the rocks? Or does it know exactly where I'm at? Wait. Look at that. It's still firing in the one direction. All right. So it has my last known location. What if we were to jump down here? Does it? Did it spot me over here? No, hold on. We got it tricked. Oh, let's see if we can run behind it. We're going to try to take it out here. What's it doing? Is it dying? Or is it... You know, I think it's trying to drive right now. I think it's kind of stuck on the terrain. Oh, we might need to give it some assistance here. Oh, let's get behind it. Does it know we're here? Uh... Wait. That back claw knows it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think it knows we're here. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Start firing. Start firing. All right. Shoot for the chest. I hit its chest. Oh, oh, it's moving. All right, keep, keep hitting it. Okay, I'm assuming it's weak spots there. Is there a way to kill it there? All right, keep firing away at it. We might have to blow this thing up. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, he's moving. Uh, man, we probably should have done this with a vehicle. <laughs> That is so crazy. It's just creepy almost. Uh, how that thing moves. Uh, oh, you know what? Got an idea. That's incredible how it moves. Like, I don't think I've ever seen one of uh, Antropy's AI bots move like this. The arms moving, how the saw blade comes swinging around, the head, it is just absolutely creepy. I love this thing, this is awesome. Uh, but unfortunately, we need to disable this. Oh! <laughs> Hold on. What if I put this down here? Come here, buddy. I'm gonna try to trick it. Uh, here. Come saw me. Uh, come on. I gotta let it get close. Uh, uh, come on. Over here. Uh-oh. Uh, I guess I need to get these canisters closer. There we go. Oh! <laughs> yes! I blew its arm off. I mean, I would have blown myself up in the process, but... Oh, look, it's still trying to reach for me. You know what? We're going to have to stick one. Is that a furnace? Uh, oh, I believe it is. Oh, he's trying to turn on us. Hold on, stick one of those. Uh, here we go. And... Oh! <laughs> oh, that was cool. Oh, you know what? I bet you he's still coming after me. Look at its head. Its head's still moving. Oh, man. That is brutal. I'm, we're gonna put you out of your misery, sir. Stick that right there. All right. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that is incredible. Explosions have only made the AI bot battles even better. Wow. Oh, man, that is a cool creation. Now, definitely go check out the workshop if you want to see more of these. Man, we have an absolute mess here. I think uh, we need to move on to the next creation, but I think we're going to have to do it in another map here because this is, uh, yeah, this is pretty bad. All right, let's go to something else. All right, so our next creation here, I thought it just looked really awesome. It's a really tiny plane by Mr. Chekovsky. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I might be. Uh, it's a WASD controlled, and it's really small. Uh, one's your thrust, two is more thrust, and... That's really it. It seems to be really simple. Uh, we'll see how well it works, though. Ooh, look at that. It's so tiny. It's the smallest plane I've ever seen. All right, let's go. Whoop. Look at that. <laughs> I would not feel safe in this. No offense. All right, so it's WAST. Oh, wait. What thrusters are those? Okay, I don't think I've ever seen thrusters like that in the game. Hold on. Whose mod pack is that? I need to check that out real quick. 
Okay. Oh, it's a WS thruster. So as soon as, what, that's hooked to the seat? Wow, that's, uh, these modders are making this game a little bit easier, aren't they? I might be able to do this. Hold on, that is cool, though. I really like that. So, you got that. Uh, looks like you've got your AD. So, this should be easy, in theory. Uh, let's just hit one. Okay. Let's go and get some lift. Oh, maybe we need to go two. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that is so cool. That actually flies so easy. Look at this. Wow, this might be uh, probably one of the easiest planes to fly in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, I need to figure out whose mod this is with the uh, thrusters. That is genius. This thing's so light and it's so well balanced. That's cool. Hold on, we could probably do a flip here. Let's lift up. Uh oh, we might stall out. Uh, there we go. Whee! Oh, that is cool. Hold on, we can do some stunt flying. This is probably the best flyer I think I've ever felt in Scrap Mechanic. Like, this thing is insane. I can maneuver this pretty easily. And that says a lot for Komodo. You know, I should probably get the chase camera right behind it. Uh, let's go straight, almost vertical. We'll go over the mountain here. This is a blast to fly. I almost say you should stick, actually I don't know if the gun will throw it off balance. But man, you can stick a little gun on this thing and you can start firing away. This thing is really cool. Oh, let's shoot the gap here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. You know, Komodo's still not the best flyer, but he's gotten better. Hold on, let's... Oh, that's a tree. Yep, as soon as I said that, I get myself stuck in a tree. Great. You know, it's really cool because I do believe it's using the uh, the wings mod. So it doesn't lift off instantly. Uh, you actually have to run down a bit before it actually catches air, which is really nice. Oh, let's go down here. I want to fly it some more. This is an incredible plane. Oh boy, there we go. Fly through here. This is a little tougher to do in first person, but we're making it work. Oh, let's dive down a little bit. Let's keep it close. Uh, there's a tree right there. Oh, I can go up. Actually, I'd like to land. Oh, I'm going to get out of first person to land. Okay, let's go out. All right, so it says the land. I think you turn off, was it one or you turn two off? One of the extra thrusters comes off. Okay, there we go. So hold on, we want to we wanna be going up here. I need to find an actual landing spot. Alright, so let's turn two off here. And it's a little rough through here, but I think we can make it happen. Alright, so let's ease down, pull up, pull up, pull up. And hold on, almost there. Uh, this looks good right here. There we go. And turn that off, and it rolls. That is an amazing flyer. I love that. Okay, that's definitely staying on my lift. I can use that more. Man, we'll be able to do maybe even a challenge with that or something. That's awesome. All right, so for our final creation here, we have a creation by Garbuckle3000. This is the Top Gear Toyota Helix uh, North Pole Edition. I believe I'm saying that right. Uh, based on the, uh, the vehicle that the crew takes to the North Pole in the Top Gear TV series. So he says, without a doubt, this is the best creation he's ever made. All right. So let's read the feature list. Uses a realistic engine logic for fully customized powertrain, six manual gears, that's awesome, cruise control, power boost, realistic power curves. Uh, okay, you've already got me sold. I don't even think I need to read the rest of this. I think I need to go ahead and get going. So uh, door, gears up, okay, gear down, gear up, reverse, suspension, power boost, cruise control seven. Okay, let's see this. Uh, oh, that is a beautiful looking car and oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. It's spider web. Uh, well, okay. Let's just, let's just set it down. Wait. Hey, it doesn't lag. How does that not lag? Uh, maybe the suspension actually isn't that crazy. It's just the, uh, the amount of gates and logic and everything else that's in there. And oh, look at the interior of this. This is cool. All right. So... There we go. Can we actually see what gear we're in? Oh, I think that's what that is. So if I were to shift up, there's gear one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's six gears. Down shifts like uh, the two key. That's reverse. So how is this actually working though is the question. So if I, uh, oh, I didn't mean to hop out of that. Hold on, let's go. If we shift down, hit four. All right, so this is all logic-based, and all the, uh, I don't even know what mod this is. I'll have to check. Uh, I believe uh, I was actually shared a mod. It might be Garbuckle's mod. I'll have to check. Uh, but let's go ahead. Okay, so technically we'd be in, like, park. 
or maybe neutral. So we go into first gear here. Okay, let's go to second gear. Okay, rolling, third gear. All right, I'm kind of topped out there, fourth gear. All right, I mean, go to fifth gear. And let's get a little bit more speed here. And then we can go to sixth gear. It's amazing that we're doing this now in Scrap Mechanic. Oh boy. That's cool, okay, so you got turn signals. All right, I might have shifted. We might need to downshift a little bit here. Uh, let's go, uh, there we go. Gotta pick up some speed. I was uh, setting in sixth gear a little bit too much there. So there we go, might pick up a little more, uh, a little more oomph here. Oh yeah, that is a beautiful car. So there is cruise control and, oh, really? I just flipped it. Wow. All right, set it back up. All right, so we're rolling again. So four is your verse, five is, I believe it's something with the suspension on. So let's hit five again. Oh, it's got different suspension settings. All right, so you got five is like really, or well, the first one's really low. Uh, that gives you a little more, and that gives it all uh, all jacked up there. Wow, that is, this might be the best car I've ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, I know it takes uh, quite a few mods, but still, this thing is just awesome. All right, so you got the suspension settings. So let's go at six is, what light is that? Uh, you know, I need to actually read what uh, six does. Six, seven, or is that the uh, is that the cruise control actually? Because that's displaying my gear. Oh, I bet you that's cruise control. So if I were to hit, let's try it again. Uh, was that the cruise control? Let's see. Oh, I need a real. I need to figure out how to activate this again. Okay, so let me. Uh, hold on. Okay, we're not still rolling. All right, let me uh, read the instructions again. All right, so six is the power boost, which is two times the torque. Seven's cruise control, and eight is four-wheel drive is what it is. Okay, so I saw the different lights coming on in the back. I need to make sure I knew what I was doing here, though. Uh, so I want to actually test just the cruise control out. All right, so if I hit seven here, that's cruise control. Uh, am I supposed to... How do I set the cruise control? Do I need to be in a certain gear? Hold on, let's try it again. So... Let's go seven. Uh, yeah, it seems to be decelerating. I, I could be doing something wrong here, though. Uh, so let's try that six real quick. That's the boost there. Oh, yeah, you can definitely feel the boost. Or was it... Oh, let's try eight. What is eight? Oh, you know, I'm getting confused here. Eight should be your four-wheel drive. I, I just don't... I'm not sure I understand how to get the... Uh... Oh, you know what? Is the cruise control actually on right now? Seems like the wheel was spinning a little extra there. Oh, and by the way, do we have engine detail? It looks like there's a, a way for the hood to be popped. Boom. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Wow. Yeah, the only thing I really can't figure out is the uh, cruise control portion, which I'm sure it works. It could be just something I'm doing wrong here. But other than that, this is fantastic. Like, this is my favorite car now in Scrap Mechanic. So I think we've uh, I think we found my favorite little plane now, and I think we found my favorite car in Scrap Mechanic. All right, so let's go down a gear. Actually, let's do it in sixth gear. Will it do it in sixth? Uh, let's go that. Let's go cruise control on. No, it doesn't really seem to be working in the traditional way that I thought it would work, but maybe I, I am still doing something wrong. Uh, if Garbuckle is pretty active on the channel, if he wants to comment below and maybe tell me what's going on, or I'll ask him in the Discord. Uh, but nonetheless, that is a sweet vehicle. Wow. Man, the creations have been pretty impressive here today. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations. You guys have been awesome with sending over the stuff. Uh, some really just cool things. I didn't realize the mods were getting even more advanced. But, yeah, it's getting a little nutty on the workshop. Uh, with the uh, with the stuff that's going on there now. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up. If you want to check out the creations, they are linked down in the description. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Scrap Mechanic series, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.